Today I'm going to talk about jQuery data tables. Data tables are very frequently needed and I would like to show you how to use the jQuery data tables. So let's just get started. Uh, basically what you have to do is uh, include uh, some CSS uh, for the data table. Uh, you can find it on the internet search or from my website, so data table. And you can see the scripts I'm including. Is basically I'm including the data table uh, JavaScript and I'm also using the jQuery and and this is a little a piece of code uh, I have set up to show you how to manipulate the data tables and we'll go over that so let's see what's what I have uh, here I have an example table so this is the table header and it's got a couple of uh, columns there is a table footer and then we got the table body. So just to be able to see that as a data table, all you have to do is <coughs> when the jQuery load function uh, happens, uh, the div for the table was example in this case, uh, you just have to call the data table and it should uh, all be working for you. So let's see what happens if I just do that. If I just do that, so you see you have a nicely a paginated data table where you can go over various pages, search for, uh, come back, show different entries. So for example, here it is showing default of 10 entries. You can show 25 entries per page. So it's very nice. With just with the basic table, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, I can show you a little bit about the search feature here. For example, it searches pretty much in all of the data tables. So if I say London, so you can see at the end, uh, we only have uh, entries which have uh, London in it. So, so pretty good. Uh, if you want to go a little bit beyond that, uh, I'm going to show you uh, some more features and uh, let's go over that. So what I'm going to do is uh, just comment this first line because uh, this is just the very basic. Uh, to see a little bit more advanced features, you can try doing that. So let's say you uh, get this data table in your dev and you don't want to show all of the columns. So you can uh, pro uh, provide some uh, parameterized information. So this is how you do it. You've got an object. Here it says column devs, it's an array. Here I'm basically saying is that the target of is the column number two. So it starts from zero, is not going to be visible. Visible is false, searchable is false. And the same is true for column three, where uh, its visibility is false, but it is also searchable. So if I just do this, what you should do is uh, hide column twos and threes. And let me show you which column two and three is. So zero, one, column two is office and column three is age. And if I uh, do a refresh, you see it's gone. So this can be pretty useful if you have to show a different view uh, for your website uh, for the data table. So let's go beyond that. And I want to show you a few more things. Uh, what you can do is uh, I'm going to get uh, access to the data table variable here and uh, we are going to uh, toggle the visibility of the columns uh, as a user clicks on uh, certain things. So let's uh, let me show you what uh, I have done uh, that you can also try. Uh, basically I have added a list of uh, anchor uh, objects here. Uh, they are all of the toggle vis class. And I have an attribute called data column, which is basically allowing me to um, toggle the visibility on any one of the columns. So I put in an uh, uh, attribute 0, 1 through 5 here, and then you have the name, position, and salary. And if you go into the JavaScript, all it is doing is uh, when uh, I attach a handler for click, it prevents the default action. It gets the column here by, uh, so see, this is the data attribute column so it will get me a different number depending on what I click on and here it is toggling the visibility of that particular column so let's see how this works if I go back in here click on it so you see our div showing up with all those things so let's say if I click on name the name column is gone if I click on it it's become visible again so that can be pretty useful if uh, that's what you want to do uh, for your website so let me show you uh, one more thing you can keep this around because uh, uh, this code is fine. We can have this functionality as well. Uh, so here, uh, this is a little bit more complex. Uh, what this is doing is that it takes all the uh, T footer uh, elements. So if you look at my table, we have our T foot elements here, T foot. 
and uh, it attaches a handler and basically changes the, the footer element. See here the footer element is just name. Instead of name, we are going to make it like an input type text and the placeholder is going to be search plus the title uh, and the title we get from the existing T head. So that's what it is going to do. So it all will, all of these will become input uh, search input boxes. And this is uh, what we will do to be able to search on a particular specific column. And then you attach uh, a handler to that. And the way to do this handler is uh, on key up change uh, table column, whichever it is on the key up change happens on the input box. You get the particular column, you set the search value to this dot value and then draw. And it's pretty nice. So now you should be able to search on a particular column. Let's see how this works. If I click on it, here you can see all my input boxes have shown up. And I'm just going to demonstrate one of them. So if you say search name, let's say I type in the name, say C. So all of these, uh, what you're seeing should have a C in it. If I say A, then they should have C A uh, in it. If I say R, there's only one. So Carl Stevens, and it works very beautifully. You can also do a search uh, uh, on multiple columns. So if I click here, say a sales, uh, this should have uh, first column should have CA and the second column should have an S. And if I do it more, you can see it uh, kind of vary. So it's very nice and it's very convenient. So thank you for watching this. And if you want to know more about this and other technologies, you can basically uh, go to my uh, website, Gore Associates, or search in Google or Bing and uh, go into html5 or javascript if you would, uh, are interested in learning more about data tables or other things thank you for your time and you have a great day